channel everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you're having fun doing our advent cookbook. Yep, our cookie advent cookbook. Are you having fun? Good, good, <laughs> good, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking I'm glad and good at the same time. So today we are going to their shopping done. If not, it's going to be a bit of a rush, isn't it? So, all right. I hope you've been enjoying these, um, this advent. It's a little bit different. I thought it was so cool and I hope you're enjoying it. Santa's going to like these cookies. They're called Kringles. And I know I'm going to like these cookies too. <gasps> what about you guys? Do you think you're going to like them? Okay, so let's start. One and three quarter cups or 245 grams of all-purpose flour. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. A quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Half a cup or 120 grams of sour cream, four tablespoons or 55 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature, half a cup or 100 grams of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of anise extract, a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one egg white lightly beaten quarter of a cup or 500 grams of white decorating sugar or granulated sugar. So number one, in a medium bowl, whisk together the flour, baking powder, and baking soda. Set aside. Number two, in a large bowl with an electric mixer on medium speed, beat together the sour cream and butter until smooth. About one minute. Beat in the gra the granulated there we go. Beat in the granulated sugar, anise extract, and nutmeg until smooth. On low speed, gradually beat the flour mixture just until mixed. The dough will be medium firm. Number three. Gather the dough together. Shape into a log about ten inches or 25 centimeters long, and wrap in plastic wrap. Refrigerate until firm about two hours. Number four, preheat the oven to 350, uh, 350 degrees or 180 degrees Celsius. Lightly grease two nonstick cookie sheets or use parchment paper. Number five, cut the dough into 10 equal portions. Roll each portion into a thin rope about 12 inches or 30.5 centimeters long. Cut each rope into three equal pieces, each 4 inches or 10 centimeters long. Loop the ends of each piece around each other and then gently press the ends onto the circle, forming a pretzel shape. Place on the prepared cookie sheets. Spacing them about one and a 
half inches to four centimeters apart or four centimeters apart. Press lightly with the egg white and sprinkle with the decorating sugar. Number six, bake in the center of the oven until firm to the touch and lightly golden on the bottom, 10 to 12 minutes. Let cool on the cookie sheets for about two minutes, then transfer to wire racks to cool completely. Number seven, store in an airtight container at room temperature for up to one week or place them in the freezer. And these make about 30 cookies. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a taste of these Kringle cookies. sugar, you know, and, um, okay, what is that called? Oh, decorate, white, white decorating sugar. Okay. I didn't have the white decorating sugar, and of course it says you can use granulated sugar, so that's what I did. I used the granulating sugar, granulated sugar, <laughs> and, uh, so that's what we have, and I think they turned out pretty good. There's the back, so just a nice golden brown. So I'll give you the first taste. And there we go, and I'll have a taste. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So, it's a very crisp cookie. It, um, you can really taste the anise, which I love, because I love black licorice. If you love black licorice, you will love this. And, um, yeah, very crispy. Very delicious, very, uh, very much a burst of flavor as you bite into it. So there we have this one. Our Kringles. <laughs> All right. So thank you once again for joining me on this 20th of December. Santa's getting really busy now. Okay. I hope that everyone is doing well and that you're taking care of yourself and of each other. And until we see you again on tomorrow's video, 